no, Ben, Ben, do not hang up on me. I swear to God, if you hang up on... Kendra, call your father back on your cell phone. If he thinks it's you, he'll answer it. Come on, come on, tell him it's an emergency. Mom, I really don't think... It's Just do what I tell you. Hey, sweetie, what's going on? Uh, I think Mom wants to talk to you. Tell him if he doesn't agree to help with the school payments, I will bring a lawyer back into this and get rid of his custody. But Mom, I don't want to do that. I want to be with Dad, too. Tell him. Dad, I think you should really talk to Mom. Can't you help out? Okay, please put your mom on the phone right now. This is the harsh truth. So many of the challenges that we have in our relationships are the challenges we observed in our families and never got to process, never got to heal, and never got to work through. There's research to suggest that a child as young as six months old can be negatively affected by their parents' relationship. The Vedic perspective goes even further beyond and talks about how conflict between parents before the time of conception can actually negatively affect the personality, mood, and the behavior of the unborn child. And studies show that children up until the age of 19, even as adults, can be deeply affected by this conflict, by these disagreements, by all of this pain and intensity that can exist within a household where the parents don't get along. So many children end up being placed in the middle, between the two parents, used as a go-between. Children at the age of six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are expected to become mediators, therapists, psychiatrists, and they become this person who has to deal with both the pain and the joy and the sadness of both parents at the same time. This places so much expectation and pressure onto a child's mind at such an early age. And the effects, as you can expect, are endless. It can affect their security and stability. It can affect how they feel about themselves and their confidence and their self-worth. And often people can end up not trusting anyone as they grow older because they can never trust their own parents. Children don't do as we say, they do as we do. They follow our example. They're led by how we behave, not just the words that come out of our mouth. It's so important that we reflect on how our children are viewing a conflict. Studies have shown that it's so important for children to see their parents repairing their relationship. It's so important for children to see their parents having good discussions to come to a mutual solution and mutual respect. And remember this, when you fight, it's not you against each other, it's both of you against the problem.